Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the virtual MIDI keyboard in Reaper. Now, the virtual MIDI keyboard that's built into Reaper gives us the opportunity to record MIDI notes with our computer keyboard. Now, I still prefer an external MIDI keyboard if you can get one, but if you're in a tight spot and you have no other option, the virtual MIDI keyboard is actually very useful. Let me show you. Let's start by adding a new track, double click over here. Let's add a virtual instrument plugin to this track. Right over here, go down to our instruments. I'm gonna choose a piano sound called Piano One by Sound Magic. This is a plugin you can download for free from their website. It actually sounds very good. So now we wanna set up an input to this track. We'll go to our inputs and go down here to MIDI and choose Virtual MIDI Keyboard. And we'll choose all channels. We'll turn monitoring on right here and then put it into record. So now we can play this instrument using our computer keyboard, which I put right here so you can see it. Now for this to actually work, we have to open up the window over here. Under view, choose virtual MIDI keyboard, which could also be triggered by using the keystroke. On PC, it's Alt B and on Mac, it's Option B. And then it shows up down here. Right now it's docked on the bottom of the screen. We can move it around or undock it by right clicking it and deselecting it here. Then we have a floating window, which we can resize. Make it small or as big as you want. But I'm gonna put it back in the dock. You can still resize it over here. Make it smaller or bigger. Now if you look down over here, you can see our MIDI keys that line up with our computer keyboard keys, Z, X, C, V, and they're all in line over here. So it makes it easier to play. So if I touch the keys on my computer keyboard, I could play my piano. And you can play multiple notes at the same time. to create chords. The only limitation is you can't control the velocity because the computer keyboard isn't touch sensitive. So every note we hit is the same volume. But besides that, everything else works the same. So you can play songs very easily right on your computer keyboard, like this. Or even play more complicated parts that have chords in it. Now, if you want to change octaves, right down over here, as long as this is selected, arrow keys change octave, we could change our octave with the arrow keys. Hit the left arrow to play an octave lower, or the right arrow to play an octave higher. Now this is set up to be in the key of C, making it easier to play in that key. But we could switch keys by right-clicking any key down here you want to switch to. So if you want to play in D, right-click this one, and it all switches over to be in the key of D. Or F. And the next octave is right above it, starting at Q. So you have two octaves we could work with. But again, we could switch it using the arrow keys. Now we could also play our keys with the mouse. Just hold it down. We could play by hitting the mouse button. Or we could use modifiers to sustain notes. So if you hold control on the PC or command on the Mac, you can hit notes and they hold out. So if you want to quickly record 
an arpeggio, we could do it like this. And we recorded that to this track. So we can double click it and see the part right here. Now again, the volume is all the same for each of them. So if you wanna readjust it, you can just draw it down here. And just like that, we have an arpeggio. Now this is useful for so much more than piano. We can record any instrument that we want. It's really useful for drums. Let's clear this. Let's put a drum plug in on this track. We learn here to Easy Drummer. And using our computer keyboard, we can very quickly put down a drum part. Just switch to the octave we want to work with. Very quick and very easy. And you should also note, if you click out of this window, like over here, it's no longer gonna work. If hit the keys, it doesn't play MIDI notes. This window needs to be active. So you have to either click it before you use it, or there's an option over here, if we right click, to send all keyboard input to the virtual MIDI keyboard, even when it's not active. So if we choose this, and we're in a different window over here, it's still gonna work. But the downside is that your normal Reaper keystrokes aren't gonna work. Like if you wanna split an item right here, hit S, it's gonna play a MIDI note instead. So if you don't want that behavior, just switch it back and deselect this. And you can go over here to split, and the split keystroke will work. But if you wanna play notes, you have to make this window active. Which I find the easiest way to make it active is to use the keystroke. On PC, it's Alt B. On Mac, it's Option B. And what we could do is hit that keystroke to hide it, then open it up again, and you know it's active. So if you wanna go over here and split something, hit S, close the virtual keyboard, open it up again, and now it's active. So that's pretty much it. That's the virtual MIDI keyboard that's built into Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.